Um, hello there. Um, I thought I would do an update on my project. Um, it's a big milestone in it because I have got an engine basically. I'm going to sort it out tomorrow but basically I have got the guy saying it's yours basically. We did a bit of a deal. Um, it's a GP100 engine. It's a disc valve as we can see by the carburetor hanging out here but it's a complete engine. Um, the only thing I really I'm going to have to buy for it is a coil and maybe a kick start mechanism but I'm sure these were electric starts so I might be able to rig something up with a motor um, a battery but yeah but this means I am now going to be once I get the engine sorted which might be in the next week I shall be able to put up videos uh, or a series of videos going through the basics and basically the in-depth parts of a disc valve induction engine which this is and is the two stroke that I kinda it's the one I like the most I like all two strokes but disc valve induction has a kinda a nice little thing to it I call my 100 the RG 500s and stuff like that so yeah it's it all seems to be going well I'm having to pay for it though because the uni one, if they bought it, it's theirs, so at the end of the project I won't be able to take it back, which I don't like the idea of. I like the idea of trying to get this engine running great performance-wise, em emissions-wise and everything, and then being able in the future to use it on a project like making... I've always wanted to make a calf racer and a little like CC calf racer, and I think one of these would fit nicely in one of the frames. So yeah and secondly um, they say that it has to be beneficial for them I can understand that but and a two stroke sitting around in uni they don't class as being beneficial so yeah I'm having to buy it I'm actually getting it for £100 postage packet and everything which is a decent deal for a complete engine like this it's got good compression I was talking to the guy and he couldn't do he well he, he was great um, that's that's his username there, but if you ever want any parts, go to him because he's a very nice guy and he, he he was more than willing to help out. So yeah, thumbs up to him. He's he's been a real help. Um, but yeah, so there'll be a new lineup of videos. I might make a series on it. And yeah, that's basically it. Now I just have to get the engine and go through all the boring health and safety. And what you're going to do and all this, I've already written around about 2,000 words just for the research and that's out of my own head. So, yeah, I'll have to find some references because you have to put them in. But everything's going well on the engine front, so look forward for some two-stroke videos while I'm in, in uni. And just another nice fact, this will be the first time I've got my hands on an engine within uni. Yes, I am doing an automotive design technology course, but I have mainly just been doing... All the theory, all the calculations, I haven't got my hands on an engine yet. I'm hoping sometime this year I will get my hands on another engine other than this one, but yeah, we'll see. But anyway, that's a quick update. Um, like I say all the time, keep safe and watch this channel for some good two-stroke videos coming up. So, how to tune them, how to performance tune them, expansion chambers, la di da di da. So I'm going through the whole kit and kabundle because that's what the project's about. Performance, getting the two stroke to perform well, getting the emissions down, getting it fuel efficient, just the whole thing. So, watch this space and I shall see you 